Nimbus Dance Works premiered a new piece at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center called Falling Sky. It was partnered with another dance called Patch of Turf. And this is a quartet performed by four women. It's extremely intense. It lasts about 17 minutes and it's just nonstop. It all revolves around a rectangular piece of artificial grass. And the grass becomes a symbol in many different ways of the earth. So these four women compete for dominance over this patch of turf. The patch of turf becomes um, the soil that, that creatures and insects emerge out of. At one point it becomes a, a, a giant dress that one of the women wears. The idea is that she somehow represents a mythic kind of Mother Earth character. where Patch of Turf was very grounded in intense, earthbound, almost biological kind of evolutionary type of subject matter. Falling Sky is ethereal and airy and exploring the psychic implications of a changing climate. A special collaboration with the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra meant that this world premiere of Falling Sky had live music, performed by a piano quintet right on stage. The dancers love it. They feel much more connected with the, the choreography and the music. Um, but it also, it can alter the timing and it may sound different than the recording that we've been working with in rehearsals. Meaning that the musicians and dancers had to rehearse together they found a piano and enough space in a church in Jersey City, where Nimbus Dance Works is based. So whenever you're ready. Oftentimes there is this weird sort of cognitive dissonance between the, uh, the, synth the synthetic version that the dancers are working with, which is, is very precise because it's just a computer. And then when you give that music to a musician, there's things become a lot more fluid. And, uh, and this, this patch of turf in particular is like a really crazy, it's like a very difficult piece of music. <laughs> and I feel bad. It's the kind of music that requires like, you know, I think hundreds of rehearsals. It's very strict. There are all these interlocking kind of parts and everything has to fall right in place. Otherwise things will get out of phase and, you know, so. So that's been an interesting challenge. Composer Kasim Nakvi worked with choreographer Samuel Pott on both Patch of Turf and Falling Sky. Kasim is known for his collaborations and his experimental approach. We first got to know Kasim Nakvi as the drummer in the band Dawn of Midi, a group that created a kind of almost electronic dance or trance music without using electronics at all, just piano, bass, and drums. But at the moment, he's here with his modular analog synthesizer. Here is the title track from his recent album called Teenagers. Kasim describes the music he composed for Falling Sky as somber, with themes descending within themes. Choreographer Samuel Pott brought in a team of video artists as well, adding even more layers. We have two video artists, Laia Cabrera and Isabel Duverger, uh, who are both Jersey City artists, um, but do work all over the world. And for us, they've created a scenic design that is mapped onto the backdrop as well as some scenic elements on stage. When the, when the company performs on stage, one of the central questions is, you know, why is this important? Art for art's sake is wonderful and, and beautiful, but there needs to be a, the, the follow-up question, which is, you know, and why? What are we trying to move in the world? What impact are we trying to have? 
Falling Sky is a meditation on our rapidly changing climate and how it's affecting our lives. As the founding artistic director of Nimbus Dance Works, Sam is focused on his immediate community of Jersey City as well, although that's not what first brought him here as a young dancer. It was a, a cheap place to stay and it was close to New York and seemed like a good idea. Was at that time it was seen as kind of the artist haven. During that span of time, I started the organization. Since then, Jersey City has grown in many ways, a lot of construction. Nimbus Dance Works has grown with Jersey City. For one thing, their educational programs now reach thousands of kids here. And in 2020, they're reaching another milestone by moving to a permanent home not far from the Grove Street Path Station. So this is the entrance to the future Nimbus Art Center at the Lively. And uh, through here we have a grand lobby, it's triple height ceilings. Um, it leads to a mezzanine floor where there's a 150 seat theater and backstage space. And I will also say for all of the kids who participate in our programs to have a, such a beautiful art center to come and to call their own is really meaningful. Mm -hmm.